Hi, so a friend of mine pointed me at this. It is the amazing floating magnet generator. I thought it was so cool that I decided to build one. And I'm going to go through the build with you. Uh, it's connected up to a voltmeter right here. And watch this. That's all it takes to get it going. I mean, I'm blowing on it. <laughs> Look at that voltage reading. Absolutely amazing. I just thought it was really awesome. So I'm going to go through the build. But there's a few things I wanted to point out first, and, and that's what it's made of. Now, it's made of this stuff. And I call this builder's board. It's what I think they call it in the UK. But it's meant for uh, roof line, fascias and soffit. This is a little bit of um, fascia. And what it is, is a PVC wrap with a foam core, but it's quite rigid. It's really easy to cut with uh, machines tools. It'll cut with a hand saw, it'll cut with a hacksaw, it'll cut with a carpet knife. You just have to draw the carpet knife down it a couple of times. So it cuts amazingly easily. It's also really easy to glue. You use a bit of crazy glue or super glue. And the bond that the super glue makes is actually stronger than the original plastic. So it makes some great material for building stuff out of if you happen to have a limit on the tools that you've got. You can literally do that with hand tools. As simple as a kitchen knife. It's amazing stuff, actually. So I built it out of builder's board. And a little bit of the detail of it is probably needed. Um, this is a piece of glass. And obviously this is a pen because the pen has a little ball on it. So there are a lot of magnets forcing that ball against this bit of glass, reducing the friction to next to nothing, actually. Now, all the magnets are pointing in the same direction. It doesn't matter if it's north or south, as long as all of the souths point in the same direction. And all of the norths, obviously. And there's a little ring of magnets around this with two magnets here. Those magnets are pointing in the same direction. The distance between the two is the same as the distance between the spacer magnets, and that pushes it against this piece of glass, reducing the friction like you wouldn't believe. Now, I've got a coil in there that I found in a microwave oven, of course. And this thing is the fan from a microwave oven. So if you happen to have these bits or something very similar to that, you can rob those bits to actually build your device. Now if I pull that out, there we go. In the centre here is a magnet. Now, I had this magnet already kicking around. That magnet is polarised north-south on this. Normally they're north-south in that way. This one's a bit special. It's north-south in that way. If you don't have one of these, what you can do is use an ordinary nut. Put a nut in there and then put your magnet's face on the nut with three of them and you'll get the same effect. You'll be able to have a north-south field. Uh, you might have to wind a core if you can't find a core, but this is really kind of cool. So that's how you make that. This one is the ring of magnets I was talking about, and they push against that magnet there, or that magnet pushes against this magnetic field, forcing it outward that way. That one goes against this ring here, again helping with that force, but lifting it as well. That's a substantial beast, so these magnets are having no trouble lifting this. And as you saw, when we rotate it, it rotates freely. It's kind of really awesome, actually, as it happens. Okay, let's have a look at that build.
Okay, so that should make things an awful lot clearer and isn't it a really easy build? I mean, I don't know about its potential for a realistic generator, but as a project, and certainly as a science fair project, I think it's pretty awesome just being able to blow on the thing and generate current. So I'm going to do that again because I just thought it was so cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.